Holy moly! Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, considered by many to be the holy grail of the old masters, sold for a record $450,312,500 after 19 minutes of fierce bidding between two determined buyers on Wednesday night at Christie's Auction House in New York City. The identity of the bidder was not provided by the auction house. Play Facebook Twitter Embed Da Vinci painting sells for record $450 million 0,46 autoplay autoplay. Copy this code to your website or blog script var player instance equals video object, autoplay false, associated playlist or colon http slash slash feed dot the platform dot com slash f slash 2 e 2 ejc slash nnd underscore 18424692, availability state colon available. Canonical URL colon https slash slash www.mpnews.com slash video slash da Vinci painting sells for record 450 million 10970358439510973531 Caption links colon default association colon NBC News slash section slash pop culture description colon Leonardo da Vinci's duration 46 duration ISO colon PT 45.512s GUID colon F underscore MO underscore law underscore Da Vinci underscore 171115. Has caption false, MES version 1, MPX ID colon 10970358439510, Native video false, playback is disabled false, pub date colon 2017 11 16 T03 colon 28 colon 07.000 plus 0000. Short URL colon https slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash da Vinci painting sells for record 450 million 10970358439510 Source colon NBC News Thumbnail colon https slash slash media 2.snpnews.com slash i slash msnbc slash components slash video slash 201711 slash f underscore mo underscore law underscore davinci underscore 171115 underscore underscore 757443.jpg Title colon da Vinci painting sells for record $450 million Video underscore playlists ID colon MMLSNND underscore 18424692, label colon NBC News. Pop culture, video type colon web extra, video assets format colon MPEG4, asset type colon once URL, public URL colon slash slash link dot the platform dot com slash s slash 2e2ejc slash dr underscore 03 ibs 6 ha, width 0, height 0. Bitrate 0, duration 45, duration ISO colon PT 45 S comma format colon MPEG 4, asset type colon limelight MP4, public URL colon slash slash link dot the platform dot com slash s slash 2 e 2 ejc slash qemook 1 underscore vzhgw, with 640, height 360, bitrate 8000000, duration 46. Duration ISO colon PT 45.512 S comma format colon MPEG 4, asset type colon limelight MP4, public URL colon slash slash link dot the platform dot com slash s slash 2e2ejc slash v underscore vuj4 dqqdwk, width 424, height 240, bitrate 500000, duration 46. Duration ISO colon PT 45.512 S, Earls colon canonical colon HTTPS slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash Da Vinci painting sells for record 450 million 10970358439510, short colon HTTPS slash slash www.npnews.com slash video slash Da Vinci painting sells for record 450 million 10970358439510, type colon widget, widget underscore type colon inline video, placeholder it, video underscore mpx underscore 10970358439510 underscore 8, next playlist, next video index, 0, is loaded, false, window.news equals window.news.
News.article has video equals true, news.video instances equals news.video instances, news.video instances. Push, player instance. As cheers filled the room, bidding at times jumped in clips of 10 and 20 million dollars. The price includes a buyer's premium in addition to the gavel price of 400 million dollars. It is the most expensive work of art ever sold at auction. I can hardly convey how exciting it is for those of us directly involved in its sale, said Christie's specialist Alan Wintermute. The word masterpiece barely begins to convey the rarity, importance and sublime beauty of Leonardo's painting. He called it the holy grail of old master paintings. Salvatore Mondi, an ethereal portrait of Jesus Christ which dates to about 1500, the last privately owned Leonardo da Vinci painting, is on display for the media at Christie's auction in New York. Reuters file The rare masterpiece by arguably the most important artist of all time was painted in the same time frame as the Mona Lisa, experts say. The renowned artist's painting of Jesus Christ as Savior of the World dates from about 1500, was rediscovered in 2005, and is considered one of the greatest artistic finds of the 21st century. This is the last da Vinci in private hands and there are fewer than 20 around the world, with the last one discovered in 1909. There is only one da Vinci on display in America, at the National Gallery of Art in Washington. In New York, where no museum owns a Leonardo, art lovers lined up outside Christie's Rockefeller Center headquarters on Tuesday to view Salvatore Mundi. The 26-inch haunting oil-on-panel painting depicts a half-length figure of Christ as Savior of the world, facing front and dressed in Renaissance-era robes. He is holding a crystal orb in his left hand as he raises his right hand in benediction. Salvatore Mundi was owned by King Charles I of England in the mid-1600s and was auctioned by the son of the Duke of Buckingham in 1763. It was at once time believed to have been destroyed. The painting disappeared from 1763 until 1900, when it was bought by Sir Charles Robinson as a work by Bernardino Luini, a follower of Leonardo. It next appeared at a Sotheby's in England in 1958 where it sold for £45 about $125 at the time. It then disappeared again until it was bought at a small US auction house in 2005. The work's most recent owner was Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev, who bought it in 2013 for $127.5 million in a private sale that became the subject of a lawsuit. Christie's employees take bid for Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi during the post-war AMP, contemporary art evening sale at Christie's on November 15, 2017 in New York. Timothy A. Clary slash AFP, Getty Images the painting drew huge interest as it made its way around the world leading up to the auction. Christie's says more than 27,000 people saw the painting firsthand on the tour, the highest number of viewers for an individual work of art, according to the auction house. Many who viewed the painting said the experience moved them and that it was deeply spiritual. One top art consultant said, you can build a museum around it and you'll have visitors for the rest of time. Svetla Nikolova who is from Bulgaria but lives in New York now, called the painting spectacular. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, she said. It should be seen. It's wonderful it's in New York. I'm so lucky to be in New York at this time.